Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Anybody there? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Andrea? Good. All How right. are you? I'm doing fine. Yeah. I just had dinner. How about you? Did you have dinner already? Um, I don't have dinner today because I don't. I can cook it. No. Really? You couldn't cook today? I don't want cookie today. Oh, you don't want to cook? Order some food on on Google. Hey, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. Fine. Welcome. Camilla, how are you today? I'm fine. Doing fine? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Very good. Great. So, you guys, it's great to have you. Thank you very much uh, for, for joining today. Uh, today we continue, <laughs> sorry, today we continue talking about um, product testing, vocabulary, so we will work on uh, product testing. Yes, yeah, all right, how, all right. Let's just wait for a minute for the other classmates. All right, have you guys had, had dinner already? Have you had dinner already, not yet? No, yes, I have. <laughs> oh, you have already? Yeah. Okay, great, great. That's very good. And how about you, Camila? Have you had dinner already? No, I don't have the dinner yet. Not yet. Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. That's okay. And uh, you can wait. Yeah. All right. You can wait. Good. So, uh, yes, today we'll work on, uh, on product testing vocabulary. More words about product testing. I have uh, exercises and uh, we'll also do some uh, conversations. So let's begin. Okay, first, uh, let's do this. Let's do a quick search about these uh, items, okay? We're going to do a quick search, internet search, and uh, find the definitions of uh, these words in here all right look here we have uh, these words so please i want you to do this very quickly very quickly go online and find the definitions to these four terms all right so we're gonna do it at three two one and go all right, please go on the internet and uh, find out the definition of these terms. All right, let's do it, let's do it. All right, so first, the first one is, what's the first term, uh, Romulo, can you read it please? What's the first uh, concept? Mm -hmm. No se escucha. Sorry, sorry. Okay. All right. mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. We couldn't hear you. All right. So targeted sample. All right, then we also have a random sample, competitive thread, and finally, unbiased. Yeah, we couldn't hear you, Romulo. So now let's do this. Please find on the internet what each of these words mean. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's find on the internet what each of these words mean. All right. Random sample. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. So you're going to do random sample. All right. You know, since it's just the four of us for now, uh, we are going to do it just, uh, I'm going to assign one concept to each of you. So, uh, Romulo, you're going to do targeted sample and then Camilla is going to do random sample. 
Andrea is gonna do competitive uh, threat. And uh, finally, Maria is gonna do unbiased. All right? Good. So let's do it. Let's do it. And when you finish searching, you please uh, share your results. All right? And if you need help, please ask. Hi. Hello. Hi. I don't understand. Uh, you don't understand what we're doing. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. here, here we have uh, four concepts. Okay. And uh, uh -huh. you look for them on the internet and probably in a dictionary. And uh, you're going to share the definition of your assigned concept. So uh, Romulo is going to do targeted uh, sample. And uh, I think uh, Camila is going to do random sample. Uh, and uh, Andrea is going to do competitive, competitive threat. And you are going to tell us about unbiased. So just tell us the meaning of these words, please. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. It's good to hear. All right. So just uh, wait for a minute and uh, we will share our definitions. In the meantime, you can still look for any of these uh, words on the internet. All right, so you can do it whenever you, uh, you can look for any of them. Has any of you finished? Has anybody finished yet? Anybody? All right, good, good. Let's see your results. Okay, good. So we have competitive threat. Uh, all right, please, uh, can you read what that is, uh, Andrea? Competitive threat. Threat, Com you say. Threat. Mm -hmm. Competitive force affects strategy, strategy because your competi competitors react to the strategic action you take in the marketplace and your company has to read to their strategic move. To their strategic, all right? Let's, uh, let's, let's say the strategy again. Strategy, all right? Strategy. Strategy and say strategic. Well, it's actually strategic, all right? Strategic. All right, good, say it again. Strategy, strategic, all right, good. Uh, let's see, Jonathan found also targeted sample. All right, Jonathan, can you tell us what that is, please? Targeted sample is a power, is, it is a purposeful, purposeful, purposeful? Systematic, systematic method by which the controlled list of a specific, specific the specific, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Specified, yeah. specified, mm -hmm. specified populations within geographical district are development and detailed plans are designed to to recruit to recruit 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 recruit, recruit. Mm -hmm. adequate numbers of cases within each of a targets while they they are not random. Okay, that's a very uh, that's a very good definition, a very long one. Then we're gonna try to put it in our own words. Okay, great. All right, uh, we're just missing some. Uh, we are still missing the word unbiased and uh, random sample. I think yeah, unbiased and random sample. So, 
Okay, please uh, tell us about it. It is the sample selection procedure in the in the which is the mm -hmm. every one of the elements of the population has a central probability of the beginning choice chosen chosen chosen. Oh, the, the, the people who pass the test is to everyone participate is the opposite for intentional sample. Okay, yeah, that's it pretty much. It might be, it's just the opposite of an intentional sample. People selected randomly instead. Okay, very good. And uh, we're just missing unbiased. So can somebody tell us what unbiased is, please? Okay, if you describe some, someone or something as unbiased, you mean they are fair and not like it to support one particular person or group involved, involved, involved in something. Involved, uh, involved. Involved okay. in something. Great. So uh, now what we're going to do is uh, this. Uh, is this we are going to we're going to we're going to summarize you know these uh these uh, definitions or put it in our own words okay lo vamos a poner en nuestras propias palabras so we understand them better okay uh let it let me just uh, zoom out a little bit all right now we have now we have plenty of space in here all right fine so here we go now please i want you to i want you to uh summarize or put your definitions in your own words all right let's do it so here we have let's read some uh some about targeted sample What's that about? All right, let's check the chat. It's a purposeful systematic method by which a uh, control list or specified populations within geographically. Uh, all right, that's a lot of info. Let's make it shorter. Do you think you remember this? Do you think you will remember this? If I ask you tomorrow, hey, what's a targeted sample? Are you gonna remember all of this? Mm, probably not right probably not so best thing to do is to put it in our own words rephrase it all right so let's do that together let's put uh, these concepts in uh, in our own words all right in our own words so here we what how would you put it in your own words let's do it let's do it we can do it together i'm going to give you i'm going to give you uh just uh, a couple of minutes for you to discuss for you to think how would you how you would summarize these concepts all right let's keep them here all right let's keep them here i'm going to take a picture of them Put it in the chat. Okay, put it in the chat. And now what we're going to do is putting these terms in our own words, like summarize it. Como vamos a como resumirlos, okay? En palabras simples que podamos entender okay and that we especially that we can remember that's probably the most important part the fact that we can remember this okay great great very good so uh yeah let's do it let's do it so first we're going to go to uh small groups we'll work in small groups for uh four people each and uh, we are going to all girls say again 
uh, the the four definitions for the yeah yeah all of them all four all of them, of them. okay yeah okay. you you're going to put it in simple words okay because we have yeah we have a very academic definitions here but probably uh, it's better to have something all right something uh, something that we can remember algo más something easier to remember all right. So all of them, all words. Yes, Romulo, you were right, all words. Here we go, all right? Please accept the invitation. Papi, yo te quiero. Yo también, amo. All right, good, please take the invitations all right good very good all right please join the group shane join the group Good. Please, uh, Shane, uh, join your group. I write the, um, uh, another definition the, like uh, is a specific, specific, specific population with um, uh, similar char characteristics, characteristics. But, uh, and, and uh -huh. go ahead, go ahead. Uh -huh. So this is the más resumido for me is a is a sample a specific uh, a specific sample that have a, a, a objective about the the same uh, uh, the same the same target I don't know but this is a, a selected a uh, sample selected sampled all right it's a selected that sounds right yeah that sounds right yeah yeah that sounds good anybody else you can put both uh both uh definitions together and that'll be good yeah mm -hmm. yeah it can help it can help yeah they can do that too all right, good. Keep going, guys. Okay. I want. Okay. I I think the the. the I want to write it. Okay. Yeah, it's here. Mm -hmm. Only. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good. The, how do you say, uh, Romulo? Uh, uh, See, this is a select sample. All right, it's a selected sample. Okay, selected sample. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna check on the other on the other people. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. How are you, Shane? How are you doing today? How are you, teachers? I'm doing fine. Yeah, doing all right. What about you? 
<clears throat> half, half health. Okay, doing better now? Yes, a okay. little. A little, okay. Yes. Great. All right, good. So now uh, we are we are going to uh, we're we're doing this together. Okay. Uh, we are we are defining uh, we are defining terms from the textbook. Uh, they are in the these uh, concepts are in the are in the WhatsApp group and they are in your manual as well in page they're in page uh, 23 yes oh, okay i come to to enter the group or, or yeah, not? i think it, you don't have to just stay in the in this in here oh, and okay if anybody else uh, comes they will join your group so you you three work together and lillian and uh, arabella will work with you Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. The group yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, don't join any group. You're just okay. here. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Very good. So uh, definition, I mean the the terms are in uh, are in uh, the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay. All right, good. I'll go check on the others. Hey girls, how about you? Can you can you hear? Can you can you participate? I can join. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Let's see. No, uh, again, Shane, you don't have to make any move. You work with the people who are here now, Arabella and Lily. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Lily, can you hear us? Lily? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry, Good evening. I have a problem with the, with the mouse. Oh, okay. I, I got you. Don't worry. I'm coming. I'm, coming. I'm ready now, but can uh, right. you, please can you explain me what about this? Yeah, yeah. What we are doing is, uh, is uh, defining some uh, keywords. Some uh, some uh, keywords about product uh, product testing. The keywords are in uh, are in the WhatsApp group. Okay. So we are going to explain the definition about yes. for example, target sample. Mm, good. Yes, exactly. Okay. That is what you're doing. So if uh, you you can search in the dictionary, that's okay. That's okay, but uh, please uh, define this in your own words. Okay, you may find good information on the internet, which is okay, mm -hmm. but is uh, it's better to uh, use your own words? Yeah, something that you can remember. Okay. All right. It's a full definition, right? Yes, yes, okay. definitions, but then you put it in your own words. All right. Okay. I'll go check on the other groups. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay. Hi, Shane. Hi, Lily. Yeah, how are we doing Competitive here? Threat. 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 Um, random sample is a subset of a population chosen randomly by an algorithm. Algorithm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that can happen too by an algorithm. Yeah. 
Great. Great. Keep going, guys. Well done. Good, good. I'll go check on the other groups and see how they're doing. All right. Okay. No, en el de nosotros, solo en el chat de nosotros. Uh, maybe other uh, business or companies, the same in industries, but um, better or See, in, in the in the market. Yes. This is a, maybe, a has. I don't know. It's, it's a. a Streets. La competencia, la, la real uh, street of, for your. Uh, but street is amenazas. Yes. Uh -huh. but, but in the market. It's an huh? amenaza, pero que es competitiva. Exactly, yeah. It's real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it's a, 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 risk, a risk, no? Yeah, get a risk for your company. Yeah. Yeah, correct. So you can say that, you know, it's a, a danger or a risk for your company. Mm -hmm. Great. It is a risk for, my, for our company. Mm -hmm. Or for a, yeah, for a, pro, a new product. It's, it's just or a risk to your business. It, right. it is a risk for our company. Mm -hmm. Or no new product or for new product. Uh, oh, yes, a possible risk for a new product. Yeah, good. You can put it that way. You see, one, two, three, four words only. A possible risk for five, your product. Six words. That's very, that's easy to remember, right? As opposed to a uh, big part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's easier to remember. So it's better to keep things, uh, things uh, easy. All right. Good. Good. Very good, guys. Ah, este Jonathan, uh, yes. can you yes. can you yes. type in? Uh, oh, um, mm -hmm. it is a risk for all competent or. All right. It is a risk. Product for our product. It's a, but, it's a, uh, it's a danger. You, which which Jonathan do you mean, me teacher or, or Jonathan Rodriguez? No, I mean. Uh, uh, okay, good, good. All right, keep going, guys. I'll check on the other groups. All right. Okay. Yes. Uh, for me, uh, so uh, for example, we have to look in in, in internet. What's the concept for a target sample? For example, no. Right? Yes. I write. The definition is a, like a muestra de fino, ¿eh? como una muestra de, de producto. We can say, we can make a target sample for a green pupusa, for example. Yes, una muestra. Mm -hmm. Target sample uh, refers to people or to a people. sample. Yes. It, refer, it refers to people that are going target, just target, target independently. Target yes. refers uh, to people that are going to test your product. Is market objective is a teenager, teenager. Oh, that can be a targeted sample. That can be a targeted sample. A group of teenagers and then you can narrow down these uh, to a group of teenagers in San Salvador or a group gotcha. of uh, female or male teenagers. Mm. Uh -huh. so yes, that, sí. Es como su grupo de, un grupo de muestra, digamos. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, good. Very good, guys. Very good. You keep going, all right? Keep okay. working. And is second the ambient, the ambient to the teenagers uh, uh, different age or what? It, it can it be is. different age. I mean you just def you're just defining the, the concept, all right? So you can say a targeted sample is a que solo van a definir el concepto, digamos, en sus propias palabras, okay? But we don't have to create a new product, right? No, 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 not now, not now, not now. So forget about that just, now. We have to just explain. Yes. In, uh -huh. in your own uh -huh. words, mm -hmm. in your own words, what uh, what the product is about, okay? Yeah, just that. Thank you, thank you. All right, okay. This is the random sample is, is we, the testing. No, we uh, have to look in just the definition and we are going to explain in, for example, in my words. It's like I understand something about the, the target sample and I'm going to explain in my words. Mm -hmm. I think it's not. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. bye. We have to look in the definition, the correct definition that we have to explain in in, in our own uh -huh. words. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll go check on the other groups. All right. Please okay. hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. It's too long. Then, then uh, uh, we market objective is. Uh, people teenager. Y, eh, ahí estamos cubriendo las dos primeras etapas. No, 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 no. These are not. No, these no are, definition. It, it's just definitions. It's like you tell me what these words mean. Solo me va a decir qué significan estas palabras para usted. Okay. Ah. Va a buscar la, you look for the definitions, busca las definiciones. <laughs> Y luego los ponen, digamos, en sus propias palabras. Ok, very good. All right, good, good. Thank good. you. All right. Ok. All right. All right, good. Yeah, you can do it, guys, you can do it. So. Ok, thank you, you can do it. Thank you. All right, I'll good. Got some I'll go check on the, on the other group, all right? Hey, teacher. All right. Ay, jole. Um, we need unbiased, unbiased opinion. Básicamente me imagino que se ha delimitado las opiniones o el análisis. Unbiased. Mm -hmm. right. Unbiased. Mm -hmm. Unbiased. So, uh, biased. yeah, <laughs> it's different to biased. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think uh, this one uh, you can probably say is an opinion that doesn't have any, any, uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't, it doesn't have any side or it's not in favor of uh, something like it's very neutral right it's a very neutral opinion we can put it that way mm -hmm. yeah all right yes good good very good guys all right keep going keep working you're about to finish it. okay all right good y en estos podemos dar algunos ejemplos Mm, like impartial, impartial, no? Equality for it's everyone. A, it's impartial, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. You mean bias, unbiased, right? Um, yeah, bias. That, that is it. That is it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Very good, guys. Keep going.
keep going. You finished? Yes, almost. Everything. <laughs> uh, almost. Okay. Almost. Great, great, very good. So okay. I guess uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, check on the last group, just to, to see how they're doing. I am. I. <sighs> Okay. And now it's a random sample. See, sí, random sample. Okay. Definition. Um, a simple random, random sample is a subject of the stat statical population in which each member of the subject has a equal probability of beginning chosen. A simple random sample is a mean to be an invited presentation of the group. It's a mean to invite the presentation of the group. All right, and uh, good. So let's put it. Let's put it in very in very smart words. All right, we. Please, Arabella. So as I was saying, uh, we are going to put this in very simple words, all right? You have a very good definition in there, which is, which is okay. So uh, <clears throat> so you, what you have to do is put, it, put in this in your own words, okay? Uh, you're working on targeted or on random sample, which one? ¿En cuál están trabajando? ¿Random o targeted? Hello? In a random, random sample. Ok, so random sample. Uh, random means uh, in no particular order. Ok, so it mm -hmm. means that we select our, we select our product or we select our population or mm -hmm. or is what well, or what's its name uh, or sample in in no particular order like however in any order in no, in no particular order yeah in, in so it's uh like uh como aleatorio cuando usted selecciona cualquier random uh, random Run. yeah so it's mm -hmm. when you select your group of testers in no particular order, all right? It went to select. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, uh, we're gonna listen to these uh, groups telling us about their definitions they found. So let's see, please. Can you share your definitions with us, please? Let's begin with group number one. Group number one, and uh, we'll be taking turns. All right, so that'll mm -hmm. be uh, oh, people are still coming back. Let's wait. Todavía, ni, todavía están en camino algunos. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, let's wait. The yes. competitive first is like a, it's like a, when it's it como amenaza competitiva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a, a problem it's or like a, when a, the when your when your competence is coming to maybe with better offers like you or, yeah. or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. In a simple words. Yeah, in simple words, in simple words mm -hmm. is uh, a, a danger, uh, a danger to your uh, to your company or to your new product. Yeah. Oh, and it's probably somebody coming and take your customer. Mm, uh, yeah, that can happen too. Uh huh. That can happen too. Yeah, 
Yeah, like it. <laughs> very good. It's a very simple activity. Yeah, it is. Okay, so uh, I guess we're going to have the first first group of people telling us their definitions, and that's uh, that's going to be uh, Leda, Iris, Maria, Omar, and Romulo, I guess, is the first group, right? Is it? No. No, that's Aleida, no, Maria, yes, yes. Omar, and Iris, right? Just that. Wait, Iris, not. Yeah, let me see. Camila, Camila, uh, okay. Jonathan, Romulo. No. Wait. Hey, where is, okay, wait, all right. One more time. Group number one goes like this, and I, I have it here. That's uh, Jonathan, Camila, Iris, and Romulo. That's it. Group number one. That's it. So good. So uh, please tell us the first targeted sample. What is that? Targeted sample. Mm -hmm. It's a selected sample. Okay. Good. For a specific group. All right. Good. Good. So it's a target uh, is a selected uh, sample, or as you said, I like I like that part when you said a uh, specific group. Okay, that sounds very good. Uh, hey, what about number two? Group number two. What is uh, what is your definition to this? What is your definition to this uh, group number two, please? So we have uh, over here, I hate this white word, targeted sample, targeted sample, okay. And you guys said uh, a selective group, right? A selective or specific group. All right, good or specific group. Okay. Hey, what about the other group? What what did you what is your definition to this, please? Hello? Other group. Where are you guys? Uh, that that other group is uh Aleda, Maria, and Omar. So please. Hi. What are, mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, please. Random, no. Uh, target, yeah. target sample. Yes. We select a specific people. Okay, good. For example, only women. Yeah, good. Like it, very good. So it's when you select specific people. All right. Fine, I like it. I like it so very much. Hey, now uh, let's see. Uh, Aravela and uh, and uh, and Anna Lilian and Shane. What is your definition to this? It's from a from a random sample. Uh, and I think it targeted now. Targeted. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is the objective objectives in the people is participating in the in the investigation? Is when the people or the person is participating in the investigation? Mm -hmm. And uh, how do these people get into your investigation? Do you select them for by on based on their characteristics or just uh, anybody like uh, La Garduña or how is it like? Do you select like a woman, a man? How how does it happen? I think uh, uh, whatever uh, we can we can accept all people mm. or whatever want to in a targeted sample. In a targeted sample. Ah, no, 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 teacher. Sorry. In a uh -huh. targeted sample, is an a specific group of person or a okay. specific type of people, maybe. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. specific type of people. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Specific type of people. Specific type of people. Okay, I like it very much. Yep. Great. Uh, now we have also a random sample. Okay, random sample. What's that random sample about? Group number one, Romulo's group. Tell us about a uh, random sample. What do you think that is? Okay, the is is method with any population of sample have a same probability to will select it. To be selected. Or, All right. Uh -huh. So or what? Continue. What else were you about to say? Yes, this is that that's the definition. It, Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the okay. The population of sample have the same probability to to be select to will or to be select. All right. Good. Good. So the population have the same probability. All right. A pop. To chosen, to, cho to chosen, chosen. Has the same probability, ability to be chosen, okay? To be, to be chosen, chosen, yeah. Uh, of a simple, all right, of a simple. All right, good, like it. Hey, what about group number two? How about you guys? Okay, group number two, uh, subset. Of a uh, statistical population subset, Sub not subject, no subset. Sub like this, yes, set subset. All right, subset, uh -huh. subset. of a uh, of a mm -hmm. statistical Statistic. population. Uh huh. Population, yeah, subset of a statistical population. To collect data. To collect data, right? Yes. To collect data. Okay. Like it. And then what about the other? Is it? Is it? Is that it? Is that it? I guess. Hey, uh, Shane, uh, Arabella, and uh, and Anna Lillian. What about you? Please, yeah, uh, go ahead and share your definition of this, please. Is for random sample. Yes. Um, okay. Um, this is. Um, Is one moment, please. Um, a randomly chose sample. Mm -hmm. um, should be an unbiased representative of the total. Is, all right. Is, is okay. So it should be unbiased. All right. Good. Yeah. Sounds good, but remember, this has to be something you can remember in your own English, okay? So, so watch, yes. it, watch it, be careful, right? In your own English. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. Well, be careful. All right, good. Now, I think uh, we're going to check on, uh, what's the other? I think we're missing one here. Um, wait a second. I think uh, we're, mi we're missing competitive threat. So a uh, competitive threat, what is that about? Let's put it here. Competitive threat. Competitive threat. So what, what is this one about, please? It is a risk, risk or danger mm -hmm. position to company or the product for competitors. Okay, I like it. Thank you. Hey, uh, then uh, group number two, 
Maria's group. What about you? What is this about? Um, are variables that can affect our product. Are, are what again? Are variables. Variables, yeah. Good. That can affect our product. That can affect our product. Like it. Thank you. Good. Uh, Shane, what about this one? Any definition for this one? Um, and if you tell someone, I'm going to kill you, <laughs> this is an example of threat or not? Uh, of a threat, yeah. And what about in uh, terms of uh, marketing? What is it? What do you think it is? Um, I'm going to say... Cheap shoes. How come? I'm going to sell cheap shoes. All right. So you sell cheap shoes. Yes. And uh, how? And how is that a threat? How can we say that is a threat? That the the shoes is is cheap. The shoes are too cheap. Okay, all right. Yeah, let's put it. Let's put it in another word. Uh, a competitive threat is, as they are saying, is a risk or danger to your company or product. All right. That I like that one, and I like this one too. Are variables that can affect our product, usually external ones. All right. So just imagine you're working at uh at uh let's say um at mcdonald's or yeah let's i think the when this burger king is is a tighter competition so let's say let's imagine we're we have a burger king versus a uh, versus wendy's at the same time let's imagine your product developers let's imagine your product developers for uh, for Wendy's and you want to release a new guacamole hamburger, all right? So you work on your guacamole hamburger, but at the same time, uh, Wendy's is making their own guacamole hamburger. So Wendy's hamburger is a, is a variable, is a risk to your product because they will do it at the same time. So it can be a, comp uh, a competition that can hurt your business. So that is, that is, a, 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 that is a, a competitive threat. And finally, finally, let's do unbiased. All right, let's do unbiased. Anybody else? What about the word unbiased? Uh, group number one, Romulus group. It's, uh, unbiased is an impartial opinion. All right, good, unbiased, okay. It's an impartial, okay? Impartial opinion. All right, good. And what about in group uh, number two? What do you have for unbiased? It's, it's a criterion and that is based on, make, on decisions made with objectivity. All right, decisions made objectively okay all right like it all right good good very good just just give me a second guys i have to open the windows because it's getting hot here just a second Sorry for the wait, I'm back. Uh, so yeah, that's unbiased. I like that one. I like your definition too. 
let's see, uh, Anna Lillian, what about uh, unbiased? Uh, do you have any definition for that one, please? Um, I think it is when you when you didn't have a preferences for something in special. Good, good. No preferences. Yeah, we can add that to our definition. No preferences. Preferences. Yeah, no preferences for for uh, for your selection. Uh, for example, for example, you have a you you're testing uh whatever product, uh, let's say, mm, probably uh, genes, okay? You're, you're, you're testing new, new genes, all right? And, uh, and uh, you select just any person, all right? And, uh, and uh, you will have, a, you may have an, an unbiased opinion if people, you know, are honest to you or, mm -hmm. You can also have an unbiased, let's imagine you make yogurt. Yeah, let's imagine we have a, a yogurt, a yogurt company. Who likes yogurt here? Who likes yogurt here? Me, I like it. Okay, yes. good, so you like yogurt. Okay, great, great. Uh, so let's imagine we're gonna test a new type of yogurt or we're going to release our first yogurt. Vamos a hacer nuestro primer yogurt, uh, nuestro primer yogurt. Y les imaginemos que no tenemos, eh, que es primera vez que nuestra compañía de lácteos hace yogurt. Entonces, eh, ¿creen que sería favorable que lo probara María o que lo probara otra persona? ¿Qué sería mejor? ¿Alguien que ha probado yogurt? O alguien que nunca ha probado para ver si es un producto bueno. What do you think? Better test. Say again. Someone to never test. All right. Someone, someone who's never tasted it. All right. Yeah. A new person. A new person. So I'm sorry, Maria. You can't taste our yogurt. No, just messing. <laughs> All no, right. so, I think it's the person to probably prove all their yogurt because uh you have a the flavor yeah i think so uh -huh. yeah yeah probably a, a person like you can test other flavors but not our yes. first yogurt because we have to make sure that our first yogurt is is delicious yeah, but... is delicious to everyone right Yes, it's but uh, uh, say say that again, Omar. It must be in this indistinctly. Yeah, it must be indistinctly and partial, right? And uh, Maria, what were you about to say? But I think it is a uh, is a uh, very convenient the random sample because uh -huh. uh, you you can have um, both opinions people maybe don't uh, consume this product but maybe like it my new product mm -hmm. and the others customers the others uh, jaggers but maybe we can um, improve our product yes Hopefully. yeah yes we can all right and uh, Mary, you were about to say something, sorry. No, no problem. I'm agree with uh, Iris mm -hmm. because um, you find a different opinion. And maybe if you have opinion to people to um, taste all their yogurt, you have a new uh, opinion. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so if you if, uh, if you can have different opinions, right? Yeah, that's good. Yes, yes. That is good. All right. Yeah, I like it. So, uh, an unbiased opinion is a neutral opinion, right? It's a neutral. So uh, they can give give you, as Omar said, uh, they can give you uh, an objective decision. All right, and uh, and as as uh, Anna Lillian said no preferences all right 
very good like it hey you guys uh now i'm gonna i'm gonna run attendance so just give me a second and when you hear your name when you hear your name please say present wait a second Hang on, please. Sorry. Okay. So let's check in here. Jose Enrique de la O Salazar is not here. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Romulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Romulo? Present, present, teacher. Thank you. Um, here we have Iris Dordea Sanchez Figueroa. I'm here. Thank you. Next, uh, Claudia Evelyn Hernandez. Claudia Evelyn Hernandez. Claudia's not here. That's weird. Okay, Maria Belen Quintanilla Barquero. Present. Thank you. Omar Inmer Gámez Linares. Present. Thank you. All right. Ana Lilian González de Peraza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Shane Zohar Demin Cabrera. Presentation. All right, thank you. Bless you. Arabella Parada Gámez. Arabella? Well, she was here most of the class. So. Um, Mario Enrique Marquez Laya, él no está. Gloria Beatriz Elias Alegría Beatriz, no está. Okay. Muy bien. Uh, Adolfo Jonathan Rodríguez Parada. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Aleida Elizabeth Juárez de Guevara. Aleida. Present. Thank you. Okay. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejía. Present. Got you. And uh, Camila Calles Minero. Present. All right, thank you. And Andrea, all right, yeah, that's it, that's it. No more people. Good. All right, fine. So we are going to continue. Hey, guys, uh, we're going to check on how Adidas makes uh, some makes product testing, okay? So uh, how many of you ever heard about this, this uh, brand? Adidas. Anybody? I don't mm. like that brand, Adidas. You don't like it. Why mm. is it that you don't like it, uh, Omar? Mm, I don't prefer another brand, but Adidas it doesn't like for me. It don't. I don't like for me. Uh, all right, you don't like it. It's not good. It's, for it's me. simple. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, just that simple. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? I used to buy. Uh, uh, soccer boots from Adidas. I like them. They were very good in the past. I like Adidas too. Mm -hmm. you, you do like it too? Like I like the Adidas yes. too, but the classic model. Oh, the classic models. Okay. All right. Good. Anybody else? Anybody else? I don't like. Yeah? Really? I, I, I don't like. Okay. Don't like I it. think it's, it's a famous. For me, I, I know the the brand for the uniforms of soccer uniforms. Oh yeah, most uh, soccer uniforms, right? Yeah, but I I doesn't use because I I I don't like the soccer. But my sons, I know the brand for my sons. Oh, your 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 children yes. use it, right? Yes. Okay. All right, so your children use it, but you don't like it personally. That's it, fine. No, it's not uh, like me. It's, it's not my style. Okay, not good. 
I don't like it much too. I used to like it in the past. Not anymore because I don't play soccer anymore. So it's not my favorite now. I used to play soccer in the past. I don't play soccer anymore. Well, now that we discussed uh, this, uh, let's see. Uh, do you guys like any other uh, any other brands for uh, sport clothes? Yes, for me it's uh, Which one? I like Under Armour. Yeah, Under Armour. Yeah, Under Armour is very famous. Nike. Nike. Yeah, Nike. Yes. Nike, everybody, everybody Nike. likes Nike and Under Armour, it's especially. The, the speakers are very comfortable. Oh yeah, skidgers are very are very comfortable too. People like them for running. And I like uh, the Speedo brand too for uh, swimming yeah, things. The... Yeah, swimsuit Speedo. Yeah, good, good. And uh, anybody you know the else? Vision brand? Which one? Vision. Vision. Yeah. Yes, it says okay, shoes. Oh, uh, all right. It's for shoes. No, I don't know that you know, one. Vision did work. Okay, just that vision. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see if I can find it. Just give me a second. Vision Streetwear. Oh, yeah. Vision, vision oh, Streetwear. Is this is for skaters, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It yeah, yeah, this one is, yeah. This, this one is the, first, the first one I have. Oh, you have this pair of shoes. Red, red shoes. That's interesting. Are they comfortable? Are, are they comfortable, uh, Shane? Yes, very comfortable. Okay. Yeah, these ones look very comfortable too. I like her sweater. It looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool too. All right. Good. So uh, those are those are uh, some some. Uh, brands that people uh people use for sports now uh let's see uh adidas has a has a vision or has a philosophy that they live to and this philosophy is the one you have here on the screen so uh let me ask uh let me ask uh, maria can you read this please can you read the first two sentences what's uh highlighted maria oh all right let's ask somebody else i guess all right uh please uh, please, Camilla, can you read it, please? Okay. We'll never launch a product unless we consider it is, is perfect. Our product development team create every shoe. Every shoe, every shoe, every shoe, every piece of equipment for a show stand. Thousands, and yeah, for thousands. On athletes. Yeah, for thousands of athletes and, and uh, fashion lovers. So is the one was one the team? All team. right, as if it was one of a kind. So they test the product a lot until they are sure that they they are sure that their product is unique and that people will love it. So uh, that is their definition that that is their vision and their philosophy all right so they have a they share imagination and critical eye for details and all costs and, and costs so they have a they are very open to criticism all right all right so that's uh they also look here's an invitation let's read this invitation jonathan uh can you read it can you read the first sentence and then uh, romulo will read the next one 
Okay. Therefore, we are share an infinite imagination and a cr critical A for the takes and costs. Okay, good. Uh, Romulo, continue, please. Yes. If you are also a developer who already has the final product in mind when you see the first ideas, you should join us and put these ideas into pre pre precise shape. All right, good. Into, so you should put these ideas into precise shape. Precise shape. Yeah. Into precise shape. So how do you do? Well, uh, they, here's an invitation. Here's an invitation for people to be, uh, to be part of uh, Adidas, uh, Adidas team. All right, good. So uh, let's see how, uh, how these people create new material. All right, let's check on that. Wait, I have to share audio. Right. The industry is changing. Advances in textiles and fibers, new manufacturing capabilities, material processes, and technologies are converging. We are redefining the future of material creation. During pre-season preparation, an expert group forms a foundation of material libraries and tools to be used seamlessly across categories to create best-in-class material offerings as a foundation for a competitive and profitable product range. This is just like an invitation, all right? Like an invitation. Now let's see the future of running shoe technology. Let's see how they test this. Innovation is the history of the company. It's what the company has been built on. For me, innovation is about shaping the future and changing the way we think about running. The great thing about working on the future is that you get to surprise and excite yourself every time you come up with a new idea. Ideas can come from everywhere, but one of the best places to get great ideas is from athletes, not just elite athletes, every athlete, from a park runner to an Olympic sprinter. Innovation is not meant to be easy. If it was easy, everyone would be creating innovative product all the time. When we're trying to push boundaries, there are always going to be moments when we don't succeed. But instead of looking at it as a negative, we have to learn from our failures and keep pushing. In sport, the difference between winning and losing is very tight margins, and innovation helps break those margins down and break those boundaries down. But innovation is not only for elite athletes and enabling people to break world records. It's not only about making athletes faster. It's also about creating new experiences and enabling people to join running for the first time, about enabling people to have more comfortable runs, to reduce injury, and basically to make running an even more enjoyable experience it already is great so uh let's see look they talk he talked about even he even talked about his samples right so uh about about uh his shoes who can test his shoes uh, runners runners okay runners. runners very good and uh do you guys remember what type of runners can also uh, test their shoes? Is it Olympic runner? Say again. Olympic runner. Olympic runners. Yes, they can. Any other type of runner that can do this? Uh, shall we watch again? Shall we rewatch it? Yeah, watch again? Yes. Yeah, okay, let's do it, let's do it. No, that's no problem. Now we'll full screen it and we watch again. Mm -hmm. 
Innovation is the history of the company, it's what the company has been built on. For me, innovation is about shaping the future and changing the way we think about running. The great thing about working on the future is that you get to surprise and excite yourself every time you come up with a new idea. Ideas can come from everywhere, but one of the best places to get great ideas is from athletes, not just elite athletes, every athlete, from a park runner to an Olympic sprinter. Innovation is not meant to be easy. If it was easy, everyone would be creating innovative product all the time. When we're trying to push boundaries, there are always going to be moments when we don't succeed. But instead of looking at it as a negative, we have to learn from our failures and keep pushing. In sport, the difference between winning and losing is very tight margins and innovation helps break those margins down and break those boundaries down. But innovation is not only for elite athletes and enabling people to break world records. It's not only about making athletes faster, it's also about creating new experiences and enabling people to join running for the first time. About enabling people to have more comfortable runs, to reduce injury and basically to make running an even more enjoyable experience. Than it already is. Okay, good. So, uh, what kind of uh, runners can test these products, or what kind of runners do they want? Uh, do, does Adidas want to test their product? The runners that uh, are run, the people that are run for first time. Yeah, runners that have run for the first time. So from a beginner runner to elite elite uh, elite athletic okay elite 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 elite, elite yes. athletic. yeah all right good so so that's new vocabulary you see that's new vocabulary so elite athletes elite. all right elite athletes so uh, it's basically anybody all right it's basically anybody who likes to run. So from uh, beginner runners to elite athletes. So to sprinters, they also said sprinters. Do you know this one? Sprinters. You know what they do? Sprinters. Sprinters. Anybody? You know what they do? Yes. The running is... Um... <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. The running, the running is uh, run... Um, uh, faster. Mm -hmm. They run faster, and is um, it that they have a <coughs> a time to to um? I don't know how how to describe. I think they they have a they have a they they have a <coughs> right. It's yes. Mm -hmm. Time running. So sprinters, <laughs> uh, sprinters are not like a uh, rate like uh, regular track runners. Regular, yes. Uh huh. But they, they, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they run alone, don't they? And uh, they are just um, timed, right? They run. They run. Um, one one hundred metros meters, uh -huh. mm -hmm. meters. okay mm -hmm. and uh, by themselves right alone it's yes. not like uh, mm -hmm. a competition <laughs> between many people at the same time so these uh, these uh, shoes are tested by anyone hey let me ask you what did he say what did he say about innovation is innovation easy no, it's very difficult because uh, we we have too many procedures of, uh, in, in their life. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, let me ask you, do they, and this is to anybody, does Adidas want other people to join running because of their products? Do they want uh, more people to enjoy running because of their products? Do they want to promote, como fomentar? Do they want to promote running through their products? 
do they want to make running more popular you know by by having good products one more time I'll tap mm -hmm. I think but, so yes all right Romulo please yes uh the they try to the their products are uh comfortable and and avoid uh injuries okay all right so they make very safe products so anybody can use them right even a 60 year old uh grandma who who walks in the park so they make products for everybody and they want that every single person to enjoy it all right good very good guys uh now just to finish uh to finish also this, by creating new just to finish this uh we are going to do something very simple and uh, it, something we've done repeatedly but but it, but it's it's worth doing <clears throat> uh here at the end of this we have a we have an idea of uh we have a, a, a short activity. So we are going to organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers' perception of a new product. Uh, I know we probably don't remember what we designed in unit one, so we can uh, think of a new product with our groups, all right? So you have to specify these steps, okay? Describe these steps. So please, uh, can you read uh, these steps, Eris? Eris? Mm. All right, Andrea, please do. All right, so, yeah. A specific the tip. Mm -hmm. The type of sample suitable for the product. All right. The number of focus groups. The number of participants per group. The location, the size of this, the number of items in the question line. Okay, good. Good. So uh, here, uh, what you're going to do is this. You're going to think of a, of a new product that you're creating, you know, whatever you have. Like, for example, I said, oh, let's imagine I have a dairy products store and I want to make my own yogurt. Okay, vendo lactose y quiero hacer mi yogurt. Okay, just as simple as that. Then imagine, uh, then uh, you're going to think of the following things that you want to, that, that will be part of your testing. Okay, so, uh, First, you have to think of how many focus groups you're gonna make, okay? Number of participants per group. The location will be done in your business or will, it, will you go somewhere else, somewhere else to test your product? Then uh, the, number, uh, the number of items in your questionnaire. Like how many questions will you ask to these people? Like, uh, did you like this? So uh, these are the things that you will work on with uh, your group, same people. Or I think I'll probably recreate those groups because we have other participants. So yes, we'll work in groups and uh, think of a new product and organize our focus group with these details. So you will share with the class these things like for example you will say uh you will say um in our you will say something like this in our uh new we're going to launch a new product we want to launch a new product and it's gonna be uh a new yogurt we are a dairy company and we want to uh, release a new product, a new yogurt, and we are going to have uh, five focus groups testing, and there will be five people in uh, each group, 
and uh, they will be uh, we will have a targeted sample of uh, of uh, people of different ages and they will be the test will be in the supermarket for example and uh, then hey look you have type of test you remember that type of test like the monadic test and uh, the other test and uh, in the site and handling and so on so you can do that one too you can uh, you have to mention which type of test and uh, that's the list over there and also say how many questions you will ask to these people all right so uh let's work in groups and uh and uh plan our focus groups all right so small groups here we go all right please accept the invitation Andrea, you're gonna work. Oh, look, Andrea, you're working with your sister. Yeah, join her, she's waiting for you. All right, yeah, join her. Hmm. The machine games in front to Santa Elena Embassy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dreamland. Yeah, Dreamland. Mm -hmm. Yes, I sell the pupusas color: green, blue, red, yellow. Yeah, I hear about it, but I never tried. <laughs> what? Really? So you sold? Yeah, I in my house I we made. Okay. Um, pupusas. All right, good. Rarely we buy pupusas. Okay, good. Uh, I think Omar doesn't have a group. All right, I'll be right back, girls. And sorry, boys and another alien. No worry. What's the matter, Omar? Your internet? Uh... No, teacher. Okay. Yeah, it's really. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let me assign you to a group. You will work with. Uh, you will work with Aleda and Andrea. All right. Do you? Please check your invitations. Okay. Thank. You. Mm -hmm. Did you receive it? All right. Yeah, I guess here it is. He got it. We can create a new option to the to the people because there are only three, maybe. Oh yeah, it's a, maybe we uh, milk uh, from the almonds uh, with. Uh, Chocolate and yes. This is the, the regular flavors in the supermarket. Yes. But the support is fine, I think so. Yeah. Okay. I think we have this one. And we can put that in a supermarket. Uh, yes. Just okay. It's like fine, it. I think so. What do you think, I mean? Yes, I like I like this idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, our power is uh, milk with almost, no? Let me see what is happening in English. Okay. Um, English, 
teacher, what's the meaning of sapote in English? Is, or we have to no, know, maybe we, because his name, we have to say it's the same. I think it's the same, but let's look for it. That name, right? I uh, think it's the same. Yeah, I think because it's local, it's a local, it's a local uh, fruit. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same because they don't have a, is a, it, it's a, yeah, it's a local fruit and people don't have a, a word for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry. So you can use the same word. Okay. Yeah. Good. What's your what's your uh, company and product? <laughs> so, say again. Milk. Milk. Uh -huh. Milk. All right. Mm. All right. Good. Good. So, so then uh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. good. Yeah, it's a little different. All right, guys. I'll go ahead and check on the other groups. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> porque posiblemente también lo pueda comparar con otro. Será porque todos lo podemos. ¿Le gustó? No. Bueno, unas tres preguntas. Sí, tres preguntas como en el super selecto, cuando te dan a probar los lácteos. Mm -hmm. ah, mucho. Three questions. Yeah. Three what, questions, teacher. Yeah, did you like the... Uh, did you what do you think? Mm, yeah, probably it's too little, but, but yeah, let's see. Did you like the cookies? Yes. Uh, what do you think we can improve? And uh, what's the flavor of the cookies? Three questions. Yeah, it's good mm -hmm. enough. And wh what's your product, by the way, in your, your company? Yes, only, number, only true or necesitamos escribir las preguntas? No, you don't have to. You don't have to write the questions. Just uh, say how many questions you will ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay. yeah, that'll be good. that'll be good. All right, good. I'll go check on the other groups. All right. Bye. Okay. Hang on. Right. Papusa, like the like the gringo still. <laughs> yeah, like the gringos, uh, yeah, pupusas. I'm not sure, rainbow pupusas, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the, the, the type of steps. Yeah. Type of test. Which one do you think it's better? But the uh, teacher uh, type of test is a, uh, for example, random sample, competitive trip. No. No. Uh, I think it's the the other product testing uh, options we reviewed, like. Uh, Monetic test and uh, and uh, sequential monetic test and the uh, ah yeah and the site and handling and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 all those mm -hmm. yes yes it's uh it's like two lessons ago uh -huh. I think in this case it's monetic test oh that can be because they tested and rated right yes. Yeah, that's good. That that can work. Yeah, great idea. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe in the the questions we have um, uh, 
like a select uh, one from one to five stars maybe a flavor um uh, oh, aspect rating yeah that's the um, image because the purpose has like colors is that the, what do you think about the, the colors how, yeah. how do you feel when the, your pupusa have colors maybe okay yeah different, different kinds of pupusa. maybe maybe one can be bad and three is so so and five is excellent idea yeah so a rating right yeah right yeah rating correct good good very good guys all right, I'll go check on the, another on another group. Seems like there is an unassigned per Maria. The hell was Maria? Okay, I'll go check on her. Maria, what happened to you? The internet. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Have a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the conference stopped. Uh, well, I guess. I, uh, I, I, I imagine um, the um, the um, um, ro um, rain. Is it uh -huh. raining there? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. It was raining here, but it, it stopped. Okay, let's see which group can I send you to. Okay, okay. It is Romulo <clears throat> and Shane. Jonathan and Arvili and Camilla. Aleda and Rain. One more. I think they all are equal, but I'll send you to number one. The way I'm I'll send you to okay. Iris and Romulo. Okay. Color, maybe it's attractive yeah because i i listen to you and i'm sorry okay the invitation In and death house. Um. Okay, good. So, how are we doing here? You, you guys finished? Yes. Yeah, that was pretty fast. I'll go check on somebody else then. Okay. Right. Yeah, bruja. I I pre, I I tasted um, oh, yeah. la bruja in in salco. <laughs> what, what is yeah. that? Yeah, what's that? What's what the ingredient? It's amazing. What I don't know. The, uh, this pupusa. Uh, hierbas. I um for example um. Mora, um, um, espinach. Uh -huh, espinach. Um, mm -hmm. I don't many Vege vegetarian pupusa. Yes, but it, with cheese, of course. But uh -huh. it's delicious. Yes, it's delicious. How many? I how many? Is, how many the cost of this? Yeah, how much? I don't is it? know. Uh, um. I think it's expensive to, um, uh, but maybe two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Yes, it's, 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 it's bigger. Yes, it's expensive it's because it's a salco, no? <laughs> yes, it's the it's the the heat in Comal. Yes, but it's uh -huh. delicious. Uh -huh. Or or one fifty. The yes, mm -hmm. it's the other, other, other saber, yes. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I got you. 
<laughs> Interesting. Good. I, re I recommend the t-shirt. Really? Yes, 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 yes. It's delicious. I, I wanna, I wanna go there and have a, uh, and have a. Uh, La bruja. La bruja. Uh -huh. And also, they say that the the yuca over there is is very good as well. Yes, yuca yes, and, yes. And fritada. Wow. Yeah. I like it with uh, pork cracklings and, and, and fish. Pork cracklings, ah, okay. chicharrones, pork, uh -huh. pork and uh -huh. cheese, and, 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 and fish. Yeah, so I want to try. Escadeta. Uh -huh. Pork crackling. Pork crackling. So, ah, chicharrón. Mm -hmm. hey, but at the, at the end, your, your product is going to be uh, the pupusas, right? Yes. Yeah, the, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. The the color ones, right? Yes, the rainbow, rainbow pupus. Rainbow pupus. <laughs> okay, that has got to be very interesting. All right, great, very good. So I guess uh, we will probably go back to our main session. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's send a message. Uh, let's send a message to the whole, uh, to everybody, to every group. Make sure you have a test type for example. Uh, Site and handling uh, monetic branded and uh, blind. All right, just making sure everybody gets it. All right, good. So, well, I'm glad everybody's coming back. Uh, now we are going to share our um, our plan, our focus group. <clears throat> sorry, our focus group plan. So yeah, let's do it. Let's begin with uh, group number one. That's going to be, oh wait, I have to run attendance first. Primero voy a pasar asistencia a los que no están. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, good. So uh, here we have uh, Jose Enrique de la O. No regreso. Claudia Evelyn Hernández. Tampoco. Mario Enrique Márquez Zelaya. Tampoco. Gloria, Beatriz, Elias, Alegría, Oriana. Mm -mm. And that's it. Never came back. All right, guys. Uh, well, let's continue. So I guess uh, we'll hear group number one first. So group number one, uh, that's Iris, Maria, Romulo, and uh, Shane. So what is uh, going to be your product? Let's go over the checklist. So that's going to be your product company and the uh, number of focus group, the type of sample for your, for your group, type of sample like random or, or uh, targeted, number of participants, location, type of test, and the uh, item of uh, number of items in the questionnaire. So please tell us about that. Um, our products are the rainbow pupusas, the color pupusas, 
Mm -hmm. And we thought about the five groups, which um, 25 people each one. Okay. And it's, uh, we use the Manadis test because uh, looking have more information about our product and the people can test and write them. Okay, all right. So people can test your product and uh, rate it. All right, good, good. And uh, anything else to, to say about your, uh, your product? Anything else? It's a, a product uh, focused to uh, a kids, but uh, mm -hmm. I have the color. And the other other uh, people, uh, I'm, I think I'm not interested, but uh, I have the, uh, the traditional. Okay, so other people might be interested in the traditional. All right, so yeah. I guess anything else to add to your uh, to your description, please. Anything else to add to your description? Anybody? The, the location is a uh, the five five region of the Salvador: Orient, Occident, and oh. Central, Central, and uh, Para Central. I think it's uh, the Central. Area. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So you will test in different places. And it's going to be random, you said, right? Or yeah. Yes. Target. Random sample. All right, random sample. So you're going to see what adults think about it. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. Good. You know, uh, thinking about uh, about color things. Once I tried uh, green sopa de patas. It, it was the same. It, it was the same. No difference. It was just green. I don't know what what it had, but it was just green. But it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably sang me sang Saint Michael. Got you. All right. So uh, it was just green and no no difference at all. But it was enjoyable. It was very good. All right. Good. Uh, let's hear somebody else. All right. Group number two. That's Jonathan, Anna Lillian, and Camilla. So uh, you guys, tell us uh, what your company is, what your product is about, what type of target, uh, what type of uh, sample you have, and uh, what, what's the other thing I, I can recall. Number of participants, number of focus groups, location, type of test, and finally, how many items your questioner has. All right, please go for it. Okay, uh, our product is a uh, sapote milk. Uh, okay, and the uh, the target sample is a uh, uh, people. Bueno, two two target samples is a uh, people like uh, children uh, 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 to the age of the the seven and. Um, 18 years old and the uh, adult per adult persons uh, with a different age uh, like uh, major uh, 18 older than 18. older mm -hmm. older sorry. yeah and uh, the type of uh, the the type Metal. Uh, we select a sight and handle test. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sight and handle is a good idea. Mm -hmm. the, right. the, um, the the questions have a uh, analytical. You have. Yeah. What about? Yeah. Tell us about the questions, please. Oh, come in. Okay, the, um, uh, we, pl uh, we are planning the two focus groups in the, okay. the location in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um, maybe something, a question, or, uh, maybe around the 10 questions. And for example, the, um, uh, you, you buy the, this milk, or do you like this color? And do you like the oil, odor? Um, smell, yeah, the smell. Smell, smell, do you like the mm -hmm. smell this milk? And do you recommend them, uh, this, this milk in another person? Um, this is our uh, our question, maybe. Okay, yeah, that can work. Yeah, that sounds good. So you have a plenty of questions to ask, on, and also you have already your population, right? And uh, your type of testing too, correct? You have a type of testing too. Mm -hmm. Great, I like it. We have the, and we have the location is uh, specifically in a supermarket because it is more opportunity to, to give the test. Okay, yeah, you have more opportunities, more people, right? Is going to, uh -huh. it is. and uh, also I think your your sample is bigger, right? Because pass you know people who are just passing by can yes. test it, you know, like like uh, like uh, every every other dairy product uh, company does it. Like they give you a little cup <laughs> with the milk, yes, right? Too much. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you test it and, and then you give your opinion. Oh, would you like to fill out a survey? Good, good. And we good. can recollect too many opinions. And mm -hmm. I think it is going to give a, a very good result. Yeah, it sure will. It sure will. You know, you will have plenty of opinions. You will have a very good results. Like it. I like the idea. It's, it's, very, it's a very good one, a very helpful one. Great. Uh, I think uh, we're going to have uh, another group sharing. So uh, let's ask uh, group number three. So let's uh, describe all those things, please. So we said the type of, uh, we said the type of group or the type of sample, your company and, uh, and your product. Also, we talk about the, we talk about the type of testing, number of items, location of your test. All right, please tell us about that. Our products are quesadillas. Quesadillas, yeah. Good. Wh which one you mean, the the pastry or the 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 Mexican quesadilla? Salvadorian. <laughs> oh, the Salvadorian one. Okay, good. All right, keep going, please. We need three focus groups. Um, right. Each group will have seven participants. It will be carried out in San Salvador, Santa Ana, and San Miguel. Okay, good. Like it. And we use monadic tests, and the number of items is three. Three items, okay. All right. Three items. All right. It sounds like a very fair test. All right. And it's also a very interesting one. So uh, will it be a random sample or a targeted sample? Random sample. Random. So anybody can test it. Yes. All right. That is actually very good as well. I think it's better if people with different backgrounds test it. And also a random sample gives you, uh, gives uh, people of different, I mean, gives you the chance to have people that are unbiased. That's very important too, that people who are unbiased test your product, all right? Good, that's fun. Hey, that's a lot of fun. That must be a very fun doggo. Let's screenshot it. Okay, very good, guys. Uh, so, look, they, that what we have done today is a, a short plan for making a focus group. Okay, so we select all of the all of this information, and uh, we we also uh, think about testing. All right. We can do testing with people who are probably not in our company, not in our line, which is very helpful as well. All right. 
Uh, now, let me ask you, was there any new word uh, you learned during, uh, during this lesson? Was there any new word that you learned uh, during this lesson? Any new vocabulary? On sided. On, all right, one more time. No, I'm, I'm um, biased. I'm biased. Um, yes, I'm um, biased. Uh-huh. I'm biased. It's new for me. Uh-huh. Okay, it's new for you. But what do you see? Great. Something new. What else? Is there any me. Which one you said, Omar? Fitable. No sé cómo se dice. Fitable. Adecuado. Suitable. Hey, good, good. I wanted to correct that one and I and and, and I and I slipped. I forgot. Suitable. Suitable. Do you need uh, me to help you define it? Suitable. Suitable. What is uh what is suitable? Suitable is uh probably let's say uh suitable is something that accommodates to your needs or that it adjusts to your needs for example uh you can say you can say that you're going to uh let's imagine you have two friends and uh, they want they are going to give you a ride. Okay, you have two friends and they offer you to give you a ride. So you decide which one is more suitable for you. Where do you live, Omar? I don't know. No, where where do you live? Ah, I live in, in San Juan of Pico. Okay, so you live in San Juan of Pico. So you have two friends, okay? You have two friends and they both want to give you a ride. So uh, one of them lives in uh, one of them lives in Lourdes, Colón. Lourdes yeah. let's say yeah one of them lives in Lourdes and the other one lives in Santa Tecla and uh, what to whom is more suitable to give you a ride to the one that lives in Lourdes or the one that lives in Santa Tecla I think the, the most near to me uh, Lourdes Colón. Okay. Yeah, we can uh we can also say that uh suitable is convenient. Okay? Convenient. convenient. Okay. So it's more convenient for your Lourdes uh for your friend who lives in Lourdes to give you a ride. The other guy will probably have to make a double trip, right? To drop you off. So that's uh suitable convenient any other new word that you guys uh, learned uh, today any other one any other any other mm, okay well i guess uh, you guys uh, we will we will call it a day here remember tomorrow we have uh, we have a uh, uh, extra practice session these are uh, 10 minute session so please be ready for it okay great I will see you tomorrow, and uh, please stay safe, all right? You have a good night. Bye. See you. Bye. See you, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.